Well, Ted, I am so excited because at this point, um, it feels like just a race to get opened. So um, our new domestic violence shelter, as you know, it's gonna be a larger facility. We've needed a larger facility because at our all-time turnaway rate, one year was 56 households that we were not able to accommodate because our shelter was full. What's going on now is we've been able to get that rate down to last year 17 households. It's nothing that we um, can brag about that we couldn't accommodate some households. Uh, so what we're trying to do here is uh, fix that capacity issue. So we've been operating out of a house that uh, was built wonderfully and beautifully for the time that it was built in 1988. And at that time, it was inspirational and hopeful and had the um, adequate amount of space, but our population has really boomed. And so now we're going to a commercial building and we are rehabbing this almost 10,000 square foot facility. So we're changing from about uh, 2,800 square feet to, to almost 10,000. And, um, and the biggest piece here is at full build out, we will double our capacity. In this area, there will be three kitchens. So right now we're operating out of one kitchen where the dining room table seats six, but we have routinely 20 women and children. That's about half children and half women, um, 20 all together, um, sometimes a few more, and everybody's packed into a kitchen area that also has the laundry and the place to sit, to watch TV. If everyone sat down at the same time, they couldn't. In this new facility, we'll have a kitchen over here, two kitchens over here, an island, and the seating will be all along here and in this space. Uh, so we'll have more than enough seating for everyone to dine together. Not everyone has to cook the same meal. They can operate and use the spaces so that um, they can actually function in this facility. So at this point, you just need, you need donations. We do need donations. Uh, we have got volunteers lined up. So we've got folks who are ready to come in and make the beds and do the laundry and clean and move some things that we have in storage. Um, but we're, what we're looking for right now uh, is to finish this campaign and we're 49,000 away from our $2.4 million goal. And um, we've made progress since the last time I talked to you. A lot, of, a lot of progress. I notice outside some of these rooms, they're named after families or people. Are, are there still, are those still availabilities yeah. there? Yeah, most of the rooms are named. Um, I asked this question the other day. I said, well, I have another donor that came in. Do we have a room for them to name? Absolutely. Um, so we, um, at the $10,000 level or above is room naming recognition. So if anyone has um, the ability to come in at a large gift, that would help us tremendously speed things along and also get some recognition. Every donation that is given will be recognized in this facility. It just takes five of those 10,000 donations and you're ready to open. Five $10,000 donations, yes, would get us to our final, we would, we would complete the campaign women will experience severe physical violence at the hands of an intimate partner and that's nationwide. Locally we serve over 2,800 people in a year and in our housing and shelter program it's uh, right around 335 individuals per year, more children than adults. Um, law enforcement in our community, that's our four um, counties in the city, uh, serve and respond to 6,500 law enforcement calls every year related to domestic violence. And so um, that's Fredericksburg, King George, Caroline, Spotsylvania, and Stafford. Um, every five days, a Virginian is killed because of domestic violence. So as we open this facility, it's important for folks to remember that when we open this facility, we're helping people to escape from domestic violence. And, um, and that's adults and their children.